Hello there, this is Michael Summit again from U3A, giving you another tip about how to use your mobile phone more effectively. Now, while surfing through the net, we come across a site that we find very, very interesting, and we'd like to be able to go back to that site at a later date. What you can do on your mobile phone is bookmark that website just like you do in a large book. If we want to go back to a page that we found interesting or we've started reading the book and we want to go back to the page, one way of doing that is to slip a piece of paper in the page of the book and then write on the piece of paper, this is where I left off, or not write anything down at all. But if you're going to put more than one slip of paper or what we'll call a bookmark into a large book then obviously each piece of paper is going to have something different written on it. To give you an idea that when you find that page and run your finger through the bookmark you will find the page and you'll know where you're going to go. Well on the internet you can do the same thing. The word bookmark is an analogy of a real book. So it's assuming that the internet is one huge book with billions and billions of pages or websites in there. And you found one and you want to be able to go to that website very, very quickly. So what you do is you bookmark it. And then days, years or months later, you can find a list of all the bookmarks that you've created and go back to that exact same website with a tap on the bookmark. So, to create a bookmark, first we need to find the page or the website that we want to keep going back to. And then we give that bookmark a name. For example, in this ex example, I'm going to find the Public Transport Victoria website. And I'm going to bookmark that so I can go to it very, very quickly whenever I need to look up a timetable. So, I'm going to do this using Safari. Now there is another Mo video that I will create that will do exactly the same thing, but instead of using the Safari browser on the Apple iPhone or iPad, we will use the Chrome browser. But this one is, there's the Chrome browser there. This example, we will use the Safari browser to find the page and then bookmark it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find the Public Transport Victoria website or the website that we might have found later on. So let's go to the Public Transport Vehicle website. So we'll do a quick search and we'll just put in PTV and we'll just hit go. And there it is there. Right? So there's the home of Public Transport Victoria, so we'll just go to that web page. And there is the page that I want to bookmark. Now this could be any page, but at the moment the address is ptv.vic.gov.au, which is at the top, but it doesn't matter, okay? So what we will do now is to bookmark this page, and it doesn't have to be the PTV, it can be any page you've found anyway. We hit the share button. There it is there on the bottom in the middle where I'm pointing to. I will tap that once. And then we need to find Add Bookmark. Now, now, as you can see, we've only got two options there. But if we scroll up, there are more options. And it's always a good idea not to assume that that's all the options you have. So I've scrolled up, and we can see here we have the Add Bookmark option. So we will add the Bookmark option. All of a sudden, we get into the Add Bookmark page option. Now, as you can see, it says Cancel, Save, <clears throat> and here is the name of the bookmark. And it's called it Public Transport Victoria. Now, I'm happy with that. But if you want to change that, you simply overtype that. So if you want to overtype it, you simply tap in there. And we'll just get rid of the word Victoria just for the exercise. I can remove whatever I want. Okay, well, let's make it easier. Let's just get rid of the word home. 
We don't need that home there. Public transport, and we'll add the Victoria. Oh, I'll just put Vic on that again. Now, that is the name of the bookmark, and that is where this bookmark is going to take me, the web address or the URL, as some people call it. Now, it'll save it to a location on the phone. In this case, you'll note the location will be favorites. Now, if you've never used this before, yours will also have the word favorites. That's what we call the default. So once we're happy with that, we'll tap on the save button. And there it is. We've now saved the bookmark. So how did we do that? Let's do this again. Find the website that you want to bookmark. Could be anywhere. It doesn't have to be this website. But we've just found the Public Transport Victoria website, as you can see. <clears throat> then we tap on the Share button. And then we scroll up until we find the Add Bookmarks button. We tap that. And it automatically chooses a name for us. And if we don't like it, we can, of course, edit that. But I'll leave it as it is. Once we edit this, we do not touch the address because that's where we want to go. And then we note the location. In this case, the location will be favorites. But if yours is different, if you've been playing around, then just remember that location. And then you hit save. Now, let's use the bookmark. So let's just pretend that we've gone somewhere else. And for this example, I'm just going to go to the Aldi web page. And this could be days later. This could be weeks later. It doesn't really matter. Now, all of a sudden, I want to go back to the Public Transport Victoria. Now, I could go and search for it, but I've already bookmarked it before. So let's see where we can find all the bookmarks. So before to create the bookmark, we use the share button. But now I want to use the bookmark. I want to find it and tap it so it'll take me back to the Public Transport Victoria website. So now we need to tap on the book symbol, supposed to be for bookmarks. So we'll tap that once. And you can see it's gone to an area called favorites. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of bookmarks which I've done earlier. And whenever you create a new bookmark, it normally is placed on the bottom of the list. And there it is there. And the icon <clears throat> is the same. It's an icon of a book. So now all I need to do is tap on that text. And it should take me immediately to the Public Transport Victoria website, which is the one above, not this one here. This one here, right? Public Transport Vic. We tap it, and there you are. I'm straight back to where I was. Okay, let's do another example. So let's do a search, and we'll find the Aldi website. So there's the Aldi website. I could search for Aldi, but I used a bookmark that I've already had in the Aldi. So once you find it, <coughs> then what you do is, to create the bookmark, you hit the share button down the bottom. Could be in a different place if you have a different operating system, but find that little icon there, square with an arrow on it. Then we scroll up, find the add bookmark option, tap it. And again, it's a huge long name, and I don't like that. So I'm just going to delete that name, and I'm just going to rename the bookmark Aldi. And I'll use capital letters, and I'll leave the web alone. And again, it's going to save it to the favorites website, because that's the default. And I'll just hit done on the bottom right, or save. Let's hit save. And that's done again. So now... I'm at the Weldy website, and I want to go to the Public Transport Victoria website. So now we look at the bookmarks, which is this one here, the book symbol. We go into the favorites area, which it defaults to, and we'll find the bookmark that I named Public Transport Victoria, and we'll just tap it. And there we are. Now, 
I've got two bookmarks. I've also got one to the Aldi website. So again, I'll have the book and I'll go down to the bottom. And the last one is the Aldi web. So I tap Aldi and there you go. So what is a bookmark? Again, it's simply a way of marking a website or a web page on the internet so that you can come back to it at a later date. In this case, it uses, I've shown you how to do it on the Safari app. On a later video, you'll be able to do exactly the same thing on your iPhone or your iPad using, if you are a Chrome user, using Chrome. And it'll do exactly the same thing. It's just a little bit different, different options. Then. I hope that has been some value to you. Thank you very much.